Hi guys and welcome to Domestic Diva DIY. Today I will be creating a three tier tray with some of these thrifted items that I had picked up at our value village. I have been on a hunt for a um, tier tray uh, that I that would be big enough and small enough to fit in my newly renovated washroom uh, master master bathroom and um, couldn't really find anything that was fit it, fitting for that so I ended up uh, decided that I wanted to create one so I had picked up these rectangular um, baskets now they're all different uh, color and I think they're a bit different thickness but they're the same style they have the squares and they're rectangle and then I also picked up these candle ho holders I think that's what they are the pillar candle holders as well so the, the total co cost for this was uh, I paid 25 cents for each one of these baskets so that would be 75 cents and then I paid dollar for these uh, candle uh, holders so uh, for each each one of them so the total is 275 uh, I will also be using a chalked spray paint in uh, the charcoal I think it's in uh, it's like black which has been my favorite color to use and it is a color that I used in my bathroom rental quite a bit so I'm using that and a hot glue gun so first thing that I did was I uh, measured out um, the, the distance uh, for these to be glued on uh, just so it's e kind of in the center and then I used a pencil and the little cardboard underneath just to mark off where I wanted the center to be. I also want to mention that this video is part of a, a trash to treasure a tray challenge that is hosted by Lee, Lee from Junkernecker and Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY and they had asked us to make a tray from recycled or thrifted items um, and we could uh, make one tray or a multiple tier tray so this is what I thought this would be a perfect video for that since I was planning on making it anyways. So I will link both of these ladies channels down below as well as the playlist so make sure you go on and check out the playlist because I'm sure there's going to be tons of inspiration for your tray making. Uh, so once I knew uh, where these uh, where I'm placing that I added hot glue now you will see that I didn't mess up a little bit and had to redo it uh, just because it was due to the uh, that their hollow squares I had a hard time attaching it but I did redo it and ended up gluing it on and it's and it's stuck you can also use a more permanent glue for this but uh, which I will be going after over um, at a later date but right now I was just using a hot glue See, I repeated the same process for the rest of the, the trays and uh, holders, making sure that they are centered.
here it is. Um, I really do like the way it looks. It's a perfect size. And now I'm going to give a glue some drying time and then take it outside and spray paint it. You want to flip this over a couple times when you're spray painting just so the spray paint gets in all the sides and all the nooks and crannies. the tray I absolutely love the way it turned out I think it's gonna look awesome in my bathroom right beside my tub and I can't wait to fill it up with all the necessary items to have a great spa evening at home I just added a couple things in here that I had on hand I am planning on getting some bath bombs and uh, some more face mask and some exfoliators and stuff like that and there's plenty of room to add it all in and it'll just sit on the side of my tub you can totally use this tray for any type of seasonal decor as well in the kitchen because it doesn't take up too much room but it has plenty of storage and it's not off uh, too high so it can fit uh, under your cabinet if you have a balance well, I would like to thank the hostess for hosting this challenge. I enjoyed participating. It made me think a little bit outside of the box as well. And make sure you guys check out that playlist uh, for tons of other inspirations when you're done watching my video. And for those of you that are here for the very first time, I would love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. And if you did not know before, I do have two other channels, one dedicated to cooking and one dedicated to home decor, uh, decorating and cleaning. So I will have all of my channels linked down below so you can check them all out if you'd like. And like I said, if this is your first time stopping by, uh, I would love it if you press the subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my upcoming DIYs and there's tons coming your way. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.